Hi, welcome to Business. My name is Daryl Kwa. The British Council is building a network of Ghanaians who have studied in the UK to afford them opportunities to access employment. There's more in this report of the alumni system. Alumni Fora in every university is the key source of employment generation. The UK has been producing the most employable students in the past years. The British Council aims to bring together the large community of Ghanaians who studied in UK universities. Director of Programs and Partnerships at the British Council, Solomon Domani, advised students to connect to increase your professional opportunities. For instance, we have a lot of uh, former students of this UK institution for income in various areas. And we think that if we can have them come together to form a very solid alumni network, they will be able to, among other things, share ideas, share their experiences. They can also be a sort of resource to upcoming graduates who want to go to UK to study but don't know how to go about it. The universities in the UK have noticed the inflow of many Ghanaian students in the past decade. A lecturer at the publishing department, KNUST, Dr. Lucy Rikoto, wants both students and universities to keep track of the success and academic journey of students studying in the UK. As they have the funds to, um, to put it together, but um, it should not just be talking and where you study, but um, we should all leave. Um, with some new things that we have learned. This is the first, so we expect that the network would be built upon and then next time when we meet, we'll be sharing uh, deeper things and uh, things that will make our lives improve for the better. Mona Lisa from Pond reporting. Now, the European Union has retreated its commitment to helping small businesses engaged in green entrepreneurship. Uh, here's more in this report from the Green Accelerator Day demo held in Accra. The project gave 11 SMEs the opportunity to compete for an amount of 10,000 Ghana cities to support their businesses. The project was themed Green Entrepreneurship, a Sustainable Solution to Economic Growth, Program Manager of Skills and Employment at the Delegation of European Union. Marta Brignoni said the support would go a long way to help the businesses scale up. Green work with the green businesses. Green businesses that uh, have amazing ideas, but they still need some support to grow up, to scale up. So with uh, the Green Project we are supporting and today we are here to learn much more about the entrepreneur that we are, that we are supporting to the project. How do we support? We support them to increase their capacity uh, on skills, skills um, sorry, soft skills. What does it mean? We are supporting these businesses in uh, better branding their product, in uh, greening their processes. You know, many businesses are, uh, are polluting the environment, so we also, we are working working a lot with this, a number of entrepreneurs to green the processes. So in the end, we have products that are not bothering and damaging the environment. We are helping them, in, uh, um, we are supporting them in uh, uh, facilitating access to finance. So how, you can have a brilliant idea, but how uh, are you able to sell your idea to the financial institution? Senior Incubation and Acceleration Advisor, Genevieve Parker-Chum, added that the SMEs would be connected to other funding agencies to expand their businesses. The Green Acceleration Program, um, we are supporting small and growing businesses um, that have already gained some traction and then we are helping them to scale up their business. Um, over the past three years, we've worked with InnoHub here in Accra and we've supported about 20 SMEs um, so far to scale up their businesses. So these are businesses from the Ashanti and Western region. They are in agriculture, in renewable energy, in water sanitation and hygiene. What we do for them is to help them to scale up their businesses so that they can attract funds and also expand their markets. The businesses were judged based on the sustainability and scalability of the operation. 